However, we also are integrated with Outlook. So if you're running Office 365, for example, um, here is an email. It looks like this email is coming in from one of our customers asking us to please confirm the status of our order. Um, so, and what you'll notice is that this order number is underlined. This is Microsoft seeing that this number represents a transaction in Business Central, automatically underlining it for me to indicate that I can click on this and view what we call the document view page. So this is actually gonna show me uh, the document, uh, if there is one uh, assigned here. See that, uh, that order may have since been processed. I also have access to directly to Business Central. So if I click, for example, on Contact Insights, I can see, you know, order 101101. We saw that that order was not available. Um, if I scroll down here, I can see we have 10 open sales orders uh, for this customer, Canon Group. Now it knew who it knew knows that Ken Demo here is associated with Canon Group because Ken Demo is a contact in Business Central that's associated with our customer Canon Group. If I click on this tile here, I can actually see all of the orders that are in process. And I wanna look for 101, 101. And I see that that, that order is not here. So that quickly lets me know we have not yet entered that order. Um, I could also go into posted shipments and I can search for that order number in here and see if that exists also. I see that also we it isn't a process order that we've processed. So without leaving Outlook, I've been able to do that. Now let's take it even one step further. From right within Outlook, I can say, I wanna create a new sales order. What this is gonna do is launch the sales order page. And if I open it a little bit bigger, you'll see that this is my sales order page. I've now created new order 101255 for them. I can enter a purchase order number. I can enter an item here. Let's pick this action clamp. This is what they're ordering. They want five of these. I see that their credit limit has been exceeded. We're gonna bypass that for right now. And I can either send this order for an approval request or Perhaps if I have the authority to approve it myself, I can release it and then email a confirmation to the customer. Here's the, their new order confirmation. Here's a nice template body of the email that has a nice message for the customer. My sales order confirmation is attached as a PDF and I can send that email off to the customer, all without leaving Outlook. So all, also all of those email transactions can be logged directly within Business Central as part of our CRM solution that's built into Business Central.